Well, I've tried to film this twice now. I was looking to sort this feeder out that I usually put Niger seed in for the goldfinch. <clears throat> and um, two things. I need to find some way of covering it, although I've got the way of covering it. What I did um, keep finding was that the seed in the bottom kept going wet due to the weather and mouldy. And um, there was always a lot left. So what I've done to this one is um, I've chopped off a piece off the bottom of this plastic tube and I've then chopped off the perch off there which is that off the bottom like so in order to lower that which means that it's less distance from here to the bottom of the feeder than it was before. So I've drilled through the body because obviously this other piece had got the stud on the back of it which kept this secure. So I've drilled through the bodywork of it, put this dowling through, straight through to the other side, drill through this. So that dowling goes all the way through that, the body, the plastic, same on the other side. So hopefully there'll be less waste of seed when, uh, when this is put out actually. Um, But I've found also this, uh, what is a flower planter with the holes all the way around the outside. As you can see, that's where the flowers would normally come out after you plant them in there. And they come out through the holes. And then uh, when I saw it, I thought, what if I turn this over as cover for this feeder to stop the seed getting wet? So I was thinking about how I could make the cap on this wider to overhang more so then I saw this and I thought that's good although large um, that would do the job and also provide some cover for the the uh, the birds this this feeder is just for goldfinch to be honest um, so I decided also to put a perch in the top of here, as you can see, and you'll see a bit better in a minute. So what we've got is a square piece of wood rounded off at the other end. As such stuck through the hole in the top and at this end I've previously drilled a hole through the dowling and I've used part of a nail to push through stop the thing falling through 
and that little rubber job is just protecting the end of the wood from the weather and it's quite a tight fit as I am demonstrating and it doesn't go on very easily it comes off easier though so that will protect the end of the wood from the weather and these uh, side holes the birds can come and land on there and then pop inside if they wish to sit on the perch or possibly fly up underneath once they get used to it and uh, they can shelter from the weather which at this present time is a bit horrendous for them so they can then also with this guttering particularly in the summer um, there'll be some rainwater in there perhaps they can get a drink so my next job is to work out how to suspend this underneath that's my next task so I'm going to end this now and see if this does play back. <laughs>